Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. We'll be taking a quick look into Necromex and some frequently asked questions. Now, a quick mention beforehand that you will need to have completed the new war quest lane to properly access and obtain a Necromech, so focus on getting this quest done if you haven't already before we continue. From here, you will want to be ranking up your Necroloid standing. So to find this area, you can enter the Necrolist and Faced Mother. To the left of her is a door, and it will only open if you use your operator. Now this is similar to the Plains of Eidolon's Onku Quill Room. So when inside, head over to Lloyd and Otak sitting in front of the Requiem Wall and begin to speak to them. There are three options. The first option is the Necroloid Stand-In. When you do have enough stand-in and enough investment into this, whenever you are ready to rank up, this is what you will be choosing. The second option is Browse Wares, so from here you can purchase and spend your Necroloid Stand-In on Necromex and the weapons. And the third option, trade Oricon Matrices for the Necroloid Stand-In. Now, these Oricon Matrices are earned from whenever you complete an Isolation Vault Bounty for Mother, or by killing enemy Necromex. If you need help or a guide for this, I will leave a link in the video description uh, below to help you guide you through those Isolation Vaults. Focus on ranking up your Necroloid stand in a little, and once you have enough ranks, you can begin to pick up these blueprints. A fair warning in advance, you will need to get a lot of materials from the other open worlds, Plains of Eidolon and Orvalis, but here are the blueprints that you can be picking up and what you need for them. Void Rig Capsule Blueprint. You will need Scintillin, which can be found in Isolation Vaults randomly, by doing some of Mother's Bounties as a reward, or by killing enemy Necromex. Spinal Core Section, which can also be found as from the Isolation Vaults, some of the crystals scattered around within Deimos, or by fishing the Vitrio Spina fish in any cave at any time within Deimos. You do not need any bait for this fish. Now finally, you'll need some Marquis Veridos, which is a polished version of the Veridos, which can be mined within the Plains of Eidolon. You can trade a blueprint from Old Man Sunbat in Cetus and then craft it to polish the gem inside your foundry. Void Rig Casein Blueprint. You will need Adramal Alloy, which is a combination of a few things. Adramalion, which can be mined within Deimos, and Travoride, which is an ore mined within Orvalis. Some Plastids, which you can find on several planets within the star chart, and finally, some Lucent Terror Globes, which are found within Deimos by looting Vitrific Outcrops. Stellated Necrophene, which is an upgraded crafted component of the gem mined within Deimos called Necrophene. You can also get this from the crystals and some loot scattered around, and also the isolation vaults. Vernido Alloy, which is an upgraded crafted component on the ore mined within Orb Valis called Veneral. Void Rig Engine Blueprint. You will need Tempered Baphalite, which is a combination of a few things. Baphalite, which can be mined within Deimos, and Pyral, which is an ore mined within the Plains of Eidolon. You will also be needing some Nanospores, which can be found across several planets on the star chart, including Deimos, and finally some Lucent Terror Globes, which can be gathered by looting Vitrific Outcrops in Deimos. Biotic Filter, which can be looted from Isolation Vaults, the crystals scattered around Deimos, or by fishing the Duroid fish in any cave at any time within Deimos, but this fish will require Vome Residue as bait to lure it out. Isos, which can also be found commonly within Railjack Grenier missions. Voidrig Weapon Pod Blueprint. You will be needing Biotic Filter, which you can get from Isolation Vaults, you can get them from the crystals scattered around Deimos by killing the enemies, and Duroid fish. Formic Distillate, which is a combination of a few things. Formica, which can be mined within Deimos, also from the crystals, enemies that you kill, and also from the Isolation Vault. And Veneral, which is an ore that you can go and mine from Orvalis. You'll also be needing some Gallium, which can be found on several planets on the star chart like Mars. And finally, some Lucent Tarot Globes, again, which can be found from Vitrific Outcrops within Deimos. And finally, you will also be needing some Chark Electroplex, which is a material you gain when you cut up the fish called Chark Eel, which is also found within the Gara Lake 
inside the plains of Eidolon, this is a common fish for you to find. All of these blueprints will also require you to have killed enemy necromechs found inside the vaults. You can hover over each blueprint to see which damage component you will need from an enemy necromech. So this may take a bit of time to kill a few and then get lucky with the drops that you need, but once you have them all, you can also pick up the Void Rig Necromech Blueprint and you have your entire set of blueprints ready for crafting. You can also trade other players for Necromech parts if you prefer to, once you have all of them crafted, which will take around the same time as crafting the normal Warframe. You can then collect it from your Foundry and view it from your Arsenal alongside with your Arc Wings and your K-Drives. You will also want to put this inside of your gear wheel so that you can re-summon this or summon it a bit later. You can change the colours of your Necromech to keep that fashion looking crispy. You can also equip any Necromech mods within the modern section. The Necromech has 12 slots, the biggest amount of slots within the game here. You can also former it and upgrade the capacity with the Oricon Reactor. There are currently 16 mods available for the Necromech and all of those mods can be found currently by killing enemy Necromechs or by trading them with other players. The Necromech also comes with a new weapon called the Mausolon. I may be pronouncing this wrong. This weapon is incredibly good and I advise you using it for a while. It also has an old fire when you have killed a few enemies, giving out a big blast of damage to any enemies. It's similar towards the Battlecore rifle. The Mausolon and all of the weapons that you use for your Necromech are all art guns within Warframe. Now in order to use any of these you will need a Gravimag, which is found by doing bounties for Little Duck at Fortuna or by purchasing some Gravimags from the market to use it on any art gun for your Necromech. Once you rank up your Necromech a little, you will unlock its exalted weapon called the Arcubex. Now this exalted currently is extremely powerful and fun to see. It also has 9 slots to go ahead and mod for. As for your Necromech abilities, first ability, Necroweb. You will throw out a canister of graviton fluids that will slow enemies trying to get past it on the ground. Or you can shoot the canister in mid-air when thrown and it will explode dealing damage to enemies. Second ability, Storm Shroud. This ability works similar to Rhino's Iron Skin, protecting and encasing yourself with an electrical field that will need to be broken down before you receive any further damage to your shields or health. It is a great tool for survival, so always keep this ability up. Third ability, Grave Mines. This mech will shoot out some mines in a scattered radius in front of them, and then the mines will detonate when touched. And finally, the fourth ability, Guard Mode. Your mech will enter a turret-like state, equipping its exalted weapons and bombarding the area where you fire. You are completely stationary when you toggle this ability and it will drain energy per second whilst also draining energy per, per shot. The Necromechs have been found to work well with some Warframes such as Trinity and Her Bless. It will fully heal all the shields and the health on the Necromech. Protea and her dispensary will pulsate out energy orbs for your Necromech to collect. And even Excalibur Umbra, who will follow your mech around and act like a bodyguard, helping you in your fight. Unfortunately, I haven't managed to get around testing more Warframes just as of yet, but if you guys have some working combinations, please let us know in the comment section below and share the details. You can currently use your Necromechs in Deimos, Plains of Eidolon, and Orb Valis, all of the open worlds. I have even killed the Prophet Taker and the Eidolons with this Machine of War, so I hope you can get around to doing those too. There may be plans to be released for all missions in the later future, so we'll see uh, what will happen there. And there will also be an additional mech coming out soon in the next update, so be sure to look out for that customiz customization too. And as always guys, I try to keep this video as short and as sweet as I could to help you guys understand what you need to know about Necromex. So I hope you guys did find this video helpful. I appreciate any support by rating the video with a like, or if you would like to go and share it around with some friends, clan members, or somebody else who needs some help. If you are new to this channel and you enjoyed, then please go and hit the subscribe button. As per usual, you can always go ahead and catch me live streaming over at twitch.tv forward slash no sympathy. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be sure to catch you guys again in the next video.